Peace Mays, it's me and welcome to today's video. So, Secret has called. Our barn manager said he was laying down restless, so we were headed out to the barn to examine the situation. As soon as we got there, we checked on him and he was standing by his water. He looked so depressed and was looking and kicking at his stomach. Then, after that, we put a halt to on it and walked him around the pasture for a bit. We found out he had gas colic, so walking around helped with the pain. We were worried that he may have to go to the vet, and the receptionist didn't offer to have the vet come out, so we were trying to find transport just in case. Walking felt better than standing for him. So after walking around his pasture for a few times trying to get him to feel better, there was no overall improvement, but it wasn't getting worse. He was still drinking water and passing gas and manure, though. Fellow boarder gave him banamine, which relieves pain. This should help with his colic, and it made him very tired. We let Secret in the arena where there was no grass he could eat because at this time in his colic, we wouldn't want him to eat anything. He was trying to eat the mini hay pieces off the ground, which meant he was gaining his appetite back. Two hours after the banamine, we gave him some hay, and he seemed to be doing pretty well with it. We checked on him at 8.30, and he seemed his normal self, eating. Hey, Smeez, it is the day after, and today we are going to go ride. So I have learned that you don't always need to call the vet out when your horse has colic. Catching it early on and seeking improvements helped us make the decision to not call the vet out. So Secret's case of colic was mild, so we gave him banamine. As I previously mentioned earlier in this video, banamine helps with soft tissue. So this was definitely an unexpected colic vlog. <laughs> Horses are definitely unpredictable. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye!